position and wait for my go. Okay, students, uh, a week three tutorial. So, uh, this version of tutorial is going to be uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CC. So, for those of you that are using CC, uh, you can uh, follow this tutorial. Alright, so I want you guys to open your Adobe Dreamweaver first. Okay, so from uh, that Dreamweaver, and then uh, we're going to work on the CC interface. Alright, so uh, first of all, I want you guys to create a folder called week3. Uh, this one, so I already created the folder week3 over here. And then I want you guys to download uh, the images uh, that have been given to you on Open Learning. Or you can prepare uh, the images from Photoshop like I have uh, shown you guys in the uh, preparing the images tutorial. Okay, so... Uh, Open your Adobe Dream Beaver so you will have something like this. Okay, so uh, once you already have downloaded all the images in your uh, tutorial folder, okay, week 3 folder, uh, make sure you place all your images look like this. Okay, image. So this is a week 3 folder. So inside the week 3 folder, you have image like this okay all the images that have been uh, prepared for you all right so it must be placed in the image uh, in the image folder okay so or else you will not be able to work your uh, website all right so i want you guys to a uh, open your dream viewer click on create new HTML, HTML5, and then click on create. Okay, uh, so before uh, we start off anything, uh, we wanted to save our file first as index.html. Okay, so save as index in our week 3 folder, the one that we have created just now. Okay, name this as index okay I want you guys to uh, notify where that I'm saving this file so in, it's not it's an image but rather than on the week 3 folder same level as image folder okay index click on save all right so we don't want to lose our file so please make sure you guys save first before you start to proceed on anything okay so first of all uh, like i mentioned previously in the uh, in the lecture session where you guys are going to use div tags to uh, make a division of all the component inside your website okay so first of all i'm just going to change this ones to food founders okay so this will be appeared on your browser tab okay browser tab okay so uh, and then we're going to develop our div tags okay so follow uh, the name that you are uh, that have been given to you inside your lecture session okay so I'm just going to enter like this so the first div tag that we are going to create okay you can find it over here on CC underneath HTML div okay uh, class call header okay click ok header so i'm going to arrange my div tag accordingly okay so that i know i can put more boxes inside the header okay so inside the header next one uh, we will input a header bar div header underscore bar okay header underscore bar and then enter a little bit to give uh, to give more space all right so i know this is header this is uh, div okay so in cc uh, you will have uh, you will able to notice whenever i click this div you know where is the pair of the div okay which is much more easier comparative to cs6 okay okay so this is the header bar and then next one we're going to create 
a and if text calls a header underscore navigation okay make sure your name of your div does not have any spacings okay underscore navigations all right so in this navigation i'm going to delete the place of the text so there would be a uh, two more uh, content that we're going to uh, input in our header navigation which is the header uh, header logo let's call logo all right so we're going to input the first images inside here i don't want this uh placeholder text i say so make sure your blinker is in me between of the uh the, this text okay and then click on image okay in week three image find the logo uh the logo okay. logo file click okay okay there you go that's one logo for you and then another one this over here is for the uh, the navigation bar okay so header underscore nav okay and then click ok okay so inside these boxes i'm going to input a our first uh, hyperlink click here on hyperlink if not you just scroll down until you see your hyperlink click on hyperlink the name would be home so link, uh, the link should be named according to the file name that you need to link. So um, uh, this would be index, okay, dot html. So because whenever we click home, it will connect it, link back towards the page that we have over here, which is index, the first page. Okay, it already created the links for you. Alright, so next one is be the same thing as well, create hyperlink. Okay, this one is array cp want okay, uh, okay this is a, just a dummy link but uh, you can change this link in the future okay so i, I assume the recipe one uh, file name is recipe one html make sure it, okay so we can change this one in the future all right so uh, and then i want you guys to continue until you have all the links that you created in your mockup okay so uh, after you making sure all your div tag are followed accordingly uh, then we're going to start to design uh, using by creating html files and input instruction inside the uh, css file okay so first of all uh, before we start anything please say first there is asterisk uh, sign over there that uh, show that it have not been saved so just control uh, s to save or you can save all all right so that is the structure if you can see over there so now we're going to create a design file which is the css okay so uh, in order for you guys to create uh, the css file click over here css designer okay so create click over here plus create a new css file okay uh, the file name uh, we try to browse make sure it is in week 3 folder file name called style okay standard okay make sure it is link and then click ok okay so it already created a style file for you okay Alright, so it create a style uh, for you. So if you look over here in week three folder, style is created over there. Okay, so now uh, the first thing that we must do in style is to uh, reset the uh, the design first. Okay, reset the browser. So that is the first step before you started to uh, develop any kind of instruction inside your CSS file. Okay, so reset. Okay, the easiest way to reset is 
by uh, 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 star and here okay this one okay I will highlight this to you in notepad okay that is the uh, symbol okay next to P next to P open or close if you look into your keyboard next to the P that is open and close okay so if you have uh, written your uh, your symbol correctly it will appear here in the selector okay in here the selector so um, the properties for the selector just uncheck over here uh, show set okay so padding and margin we put over there zero okay this one for all okay padding and margin zero and then it will add over there automatically by padding and margin zero okay, and then save our file okay so that will be the first one and then uh, last one and uh, next one is by Okay, next one is we're going to create another selector. Okay. Okay, click click on plus to add selector which is the body and uh, uh, comma HTML. Okay, alright, body comma HTML. Okay, body and then comma html all right so this one also uh, padding and margin you set over there on zero Let's scroll down over there okay so padding and margin zero okay save all all right so you have padding and margin zero and i'm just going to uh, arrange this properly so that i can see it nicer Okay, so padding and margin zero. So we have already reset our design accordingly. Okay, and then uh, next one, uh, we should uh, do our coding by the biggest boxes and going smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay, the biggest box, which is uh, HTML on body. And after that, header, head. Okay, so, so you see how are we going to make the arrangement over here? Alright, so according to uh, the size of the boxes, the properties of the boxes. Okay, so all your design will be, uh, all your CSS properties will be on the right. Okay, so uh, back to your style of CSS. Okay, so, so next one is the header. So what you can do is that you can click over there highlighted uh, the part that you wanted and then just click over there header okay, header so header the properties for the header uh, since the height the width is choose percentage the width is 100% okay and then the height is 600 pixels 600 okay 600 pixels and then we're we going to place uh, the images which is you can find it uh, or you can click it scroll down until you find a background image over there okay a browse and then choose the header background over there okay header background Okay, click OK and then make sure the background position okay background uh, no repeat background no repeat and then background size okay so uh, once you've done that okay 
uh, save your file save all and then you can start to you can start to preview your file here right click open with Google Chrome okay Chrome okay so this is what we have now you will have successfully uh, managed to put your uh, image in the background